What is going on everybody? New York Sports Hub here back at it with another Giants video. I'm going to be making a video about Bleacher Report. Uh, Bleacher Report's Gary Davenport saying that he thinks Joe Judge was the Giants' riskiest offseason move you know, in 2020. And I'm going to make a video why I kind of disagree on why that was the riskiest move. And uh, I think the riskiest move is the Leonard Williams. I think Leonard Williams, I, I, did, I thought we gave him way too much money. I didn't think he deserved that money. I think he, you know, he's, he isn't that good of a player to get that much money. I thought that was the Giants' riskiest, uh, you know, offseason move. But he comes out and says that Joe Judge is the riskiest offseason move. Now, I know where he's coming from because Joe Judge has never been a head coach in the NFL before, but he has coached behind the, one of the best coaches in, you know, in football history with Bill Belichick and Nick Saban. Now, obviously, Nick Saban is the coach for Alabama, and that's one, you know, he's one of the best coaches in college football history, and uh, Bill Belichick is by far the best coach in NFL history. He's won six Super Bowls alongside Tom Brady and the Patriots. He's also won Super Bowls when he was with the Giants. You, you know, he's won two Super Bowls with the Giants behind Bill Parcells. Bill Belichick is the best coach in NFL history, and Nick Saban is arguably the best coach in college football history, and I don't watch a lot of college football, so I don't know if there's any better coach than him, but I, I think Nick Saban is probably the best coach in college football history, and uh, I mean, I, I thought the hiring Joe Judge was a really, really good move, and he's also a special teams coach, and the Giants have been very, very good in special teams the past couple years, so I thought that was a very, very good move by the Yank, by the Giants to uh, hire Joe Judge, but uh, Gary Davenport is saying that was the riskiest move, and now I can definitely see why uh, I can definitely see where he's coming from, but I, I didn't think Joe Judge was kind of a risky move. I didn't see it coming. I thought like a guy maybe like um maybe a guy like Ron Rivera could be, or Matt Rule could have been hired, but uh, Matt Rule really didn't want really didn't care about being hired. He kind of just really cared all all he really cared about was the money, and that's never that's never really something you want to hear out of a, out of a new head coach. That's not that's never something you really want to hear out of a new head coach. He's just there for the money and not really there for the team, which is just a bad thing. I mean, who, like what kind of coach says that? But um. I, I really don't think Matt Rule really cares about the Panthers. I feel like he just cares about money. But um, anyway, uh, I thought you know hiring Joe Judge was a really really good hiring. Joe Judge had an amazing press conference, and he I mean his press his press conference showed that you know he's a coach that doesn't fool around. Like he wa he wants his players to you know he you know he wants he wants to know his players. He wants you know you know know the talents about his players. You know you know what the players are best at. You know know you know kind of know the attributes about his players, which I which I love to hear out of a coach. And he you know he seems like he really really cares about his players, but he's also going to be very tough on them, which I kind of like out of a coach. But um, I love Joe Judge's press conference, and he showed a lot of confidence in this Giants team. And uh, I want to show confidence on this Giants team. I want to see a good Giants team. We have not seen a good Giants team in so long. I mean, it's been since, you know, 2016 since we've seen a good Giants team. I think Joe Judge is definitely a step up, oh, you know, a coach step up over uh, Pat Shermer and Ben McAdoo. They were both, you know, awful coaches. Well, I think Pat Shermer was worse than McAdoo, but uh, they were both not good. I mean, both of those coaches were not very good. And uh, Joe Judge, I feel like, is also a coach who can, you know, kind of pump up his players. He's more like, he's like more of an exciting guy. Like, I feel like Pat Shermer is kind of a boring guy. He never really pumped up his players that much. He was never really excited about anything. So I'm very, very happy we hired Joe Judge. I feel like he'll be a guy that has a lot, you know, like after the game, he's really pumping up his players after a win and stuff like that. So I really, really like the hiring of Joe Judge. Obviously, I wasn't, you know, I didn't make YouTube videos when they initially hired him, but I, you know, I've stated my opinion on Joe Judge. And you can tell I really, really like Joe Judge as a head coach. I think he's a very, very good head coach. And, um, I think he'll, you know, be a really good coach for this team, and maybe he'll be, you know, the Giants head coach for the next, what, 15 years, 10, 15 years. That'd be great, because we have not had, like, you know, a long-time coach since Tom Coughlin. So we need a coach that can, you know, just stay here. And uh, who knows, we might be firing Dave Gettleman in the next couple of years. We, you never really know about Dave Gettleman, but uh, I think we'll have Joe Judge as our head coach for a very, very long time. And uh, in my opinion, I don't think it's a risky, I don't think it was very risky. I thought the Leonard Williams deal was kind of risky because if we do end up franchising Leonard Williams, we could have a really bad defensive end like he's nearing the end of his career and Red Leonard Williams will not be playing well because I, I don't know how old Leonard Williams is. But I think he's been in the NFL for a decent amount of time, so maybe you know at the end of the contract, Leonard Williams is really old and he won't be as good anymore. But um, I thought the, you know the the Leonard Williams deal was probably the riskiest move of the offseason for the Giants. But uh, you know Gary Davenport came out and said, uh, Gary Davenport, a Bleacher Report came out and said that Joe Judge was the riskiest offseason move, and I completely disagree. I think the Leonard Williams thing. You know, you know, offering to franchise Leonard Williams was our ris most risky move because I don't think Leonard Williams is a. I don't think Leonard Williams is a, is a bad de defensive end. He's a good defensive end, but he's not great. You know, he's had injury problems in the past, so uh, you never really know with injuries. But um, I thought the Leonard Williams deal. I didn't think he deserved that much money, but I thought Leonard Williams 
like you know his deal was the riskiest offseason move of the 2020 offseason what do you think what, what do you think for the Giants if you're a Giants fan who, what do you think was our most risky move that we did in the offseason do you think it was you know the Leonard Williams thing and you know do you think it what, do you think it was keeping DeAndre Baker what, what do you think it was uh put it down in the comments below do you not like Joe Judge do you like Joe Judge personally I'm a big I'm a big fan of Joe Judge I think he can be a great coach in this league and I mean he's been behind Bill Belichick and he's been behind Nick Saban I think he's you know he's going to learn a lot of stuff from them and uh, you know that'll make him a good coach so that's going to do it uh, for this video what are your thoughts on Gary Davenport do you think he was right do you think he was wrong personally I think he was definitely wrong I think there was a lot more moves that we did in the offseason that was kind of head scratchers and uh, that I thought were a lot more risky than we than the Joe Judge hiring so that's going to do it uh, for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time peace